Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage journey is at the rock art of the Mediterranean Basin in southeastern Spain. So this World Heritage Site covers around 750 rock art sites across a huge area of southeastern Spain. And there's a huge variety as well, some engravings but mostly paintings, and they cover an enormous stretch of time from around 8,000 BC through until 3,500 BC, making them a fantastic record of human history. Now, for our visit today, we're looking at a site known as Monte Arabi, not far from Valencia in southeastern Spain. Let's check it out. So this is one of the caves at Monte Arabi. But calling it a cave is a bit optimistic. It's really just more of a largish overhang. And inside you can see three humanoid figures painted in red and purple ochre. And it's really, really beautiful. They actually are wearing jewelry and ornamentation as well, which I think really tells you something about the society that painted it. So this is the Cantos de Visera, and it's the main site here at Monte Arabi. And what's interesting is that this largely has animal figures like bulls, horses, and deer. And it really shows the variation you get in these rock art sites because they cover such a huge span of history. Sometimes people are hunting, but other times they have domestic animals as well. Unfortunately, the access is only available on very special occasional guided tours, which aren't available to us today. Well, these sites are quite difficult to visit because they're often in very inaccessible locations and they're quite closed off as well to the general public, which obviously makes them very difficult to visit. And there's 758 of them, and I think you could probably spend a lifetime visiting and studying them. Unfortunately, I don't have a lifetime, but we have managed to see a couple, and I think they're quite representative of the whole site. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road, and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.